so excited to be making this recipe that I forgot to give you an introduction. So hey there and thanks for stopping by. Call me Ndomo and I was your host. So first things first, soy sauce ingredient you pick up now. Second of all, I'm coming to you in a sweater because today is day, day three of winter and it's pretty cold. I had tried filming in a t-shirt but it was too cold. So that's how we're going to be working today and let's get into our ingredients. So today we're going to be cooking pilau and these are our ingredients. We ha I have one large chopped onion and actually the brown color comes from the onions plus your soy sauce. We have our tomato that is diced and peeled, one teaspoon of ginger paste and garlic, and one teaspoon of tomato paste. We have our whole masala and our pilau masala, and our salt, about 100 grams of beef, and one glass of rice. We'll start by adding a generous amount of oil. Then we can wait for it to become hot. Then we can add in our onions. We'll let this cook for several minutes till they become a nice golden brown then we we'll add in our beef okay so the secret is let them become golden brown seals you well like we a deep brown uh, and that's where the brown color is going to come from You keep stirring them because those are the edge will start to burn and you do not want to burn them. They began to shrink and then they also started becoming brown in color. At this point, you have to be careful because it takes a second for them to become black in color. We are happy there. And this is the color that you want, you see? They are brown but they are not yet burnt. So at this point you go in with the ginger. And then... Beef. 
Then you add in our salt and our masala. Stir then cook it for about a minute, then we will be back. It's been about a minute and we are back to check on how things are doing. So at this point, the ginger tends to stick to the pan. So we add in our tomato and tomato paste when we make a stir. Then, as you can see, the more you stir, the little kuchin is in our channel. And also, our color is starting to deepen. So we we'll cook this for about one more minute then we can add a little water so that the tomato paste and the spices can fully cook this is how things are looking like so kujua nyanya tomato paste yako imeiva the oil will always come at the top and then that's how you know they are ready So here we we'll add in a few drops of water. That that's about uh, a fifth of a glass. Then we give it a good stir. And you see, our paste is now the brown that you've been looking for in soy sauce. Let this continue cooking till the beef is now ready. But you'll check check it once in a while. It's been about 8 minutes and I'm um, sure this is almost ready. So it's time to add our rice that I had pre-washed and dried. So you give it a good stir so that the color can be evenly distributed once it's ready. This is the glass that I used to measure, so I'll put two glasses of water.
cover and let it cook till it's done. It's about 10 minutes and I'm here to check on my rice. And as you can see, it's doing fine. So we'll give it about five more minutes, then I'm sure it's going to be ready. It's almost ready, so at this point, I'm going to cover it with my pot. Then give it a few, like, then I'll be done. By now I'm sure our race is ready so we cannot turn off the heat. Let it sit for about a minute then we can uncover it. And people look at this. And our pillow is ready. As you can see, it was that easy. So people, we've come to the end of the show and it was that easy making this pillow. As you've seen, the magic happens in the onions, so it's now time to taste it. This thing is so tasty. So excited to be making this recipe that I forgot to give you an introduction. So hey there and thanks for stopping by. Call me Domo and I was your host. Of ginger paste and garlic and one teaspoon of and one teaspoon and one teaspoon of and one teaspoon of tomato and one teaspoon of tomato paste but, but it was too cold so it is what it is it is what it is so second of all i'm coming to you in a sweater because so so first things first this pilau and it's now time to give it a hard date as you've seen it was that easy making this pilau and now it's time to taste it